Hey guys, what's going on? We're here today again for another Dragon Ball Legends video. This is going to be a follow-up to yesterday's video. Yesterday's video was about all the sparking units that are currently available from the Ultra Space Time Summons, number three. So uh, today we're going to be going over the other extreme units. There's four extreme units and two hero units. Now the heroes, we're just going to talk about their Z abilities because most likely we're not going to ever use them in game for actual battle purposes. Uh, but we will we'll do a quick review of them, but we're going to focus more on the extreme units in this uh, video. So uh, if you want to go check out the sparking units, I did do a full review. A quick recap of that. Uh, Android 17 is not bad. Android 18 is awesome. Super Saiyan Goku, I am not a fan of because of his um, ability where whenever he uses an arts card, which is his melee or his blast damage, uh, he gives himself minus 5% to his own health. Uh, and Krillin, I think, is the most valuable unit on this banner. Again, just my opinion. Uh, and that is because of his main abilities, uh, his special abilities, and his Z abilities. Like, everything about this character is awesome. He may not be the hardest hitting unit that you have, but he's definitely going to be the most versatile and useful. And he's a healer. So uh, that's pretty awesome. But let's go ahead and jump into the extreme reviews. So here we go. First one is going to be first form cell. Now again, myself, I am going to be waiting for like the final form cell and the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan uh, and like the buff trunks, buff Vegeta, stuff like that, or Super Vegeta. Um, so let's go over here for level 1000. It looks like for an extreme unit, obviously he's going to be a little bit lower on the scale in terms of damage output. Uh, he has strike attack of 19,000, blast attack of 18,000. Uh, not that great. Key restore speed is pretty low as well. Uh, not awesome, but let's see. His main ability restores, tag, android, allies, health. Okay. Uh, by 30% and cures abnormal conditions. Requirements, five timer counts must elapse. Wow, that's really quick. So um, he's going to be a really good unit if you're running an androids type team, which I'm sure that there's going to be times where you're gonna, going to be running that for special events and things like that. So if you're going to be bringing android 17, android 18, um, having this cell might be... Uh, key for you to be able to beat a level especially when the units are over level 1000 because we have not at least at this point in the game uh have exceeded level 1000 in terms of units uh, let's see the unique abilities boost strike attack plus 10 percent to strike damage inflicted for each opponent downed by the current character okay cool not bad um so that to me that pretty much means if you're gonna be running this character and other characters get their health really down low and then switch over to this character and he will be able to um increase that but actually it says by the current character so that might mean that it doesn't need to be him specifically but either way that's a really awesome passive skill uh, against piccolo strike attack so he does 15 percent against piccolo character and he's physical so it doesn't really come into play because the main piccolo at least currently in game that everyone uses is going to be the technique one or the green one and the only other one that i could think of off the top of my head is going to be the extreme uh yellow one uh the so there's really the, the, he doesn't have any type of type advantage against it but at least he has um, the unique ability against him. Special is going to be deals major damage, the Kamehameha, uh, may, uh, causes enemy to receive 10% more pierce damage for 15 timer counts, I don't know what that means. Uh, extra is solar flare and flicks a flash, which means I'm pretty sure that means, like, dazed and stuff. Um, his card arts are going to be key, so that's going to be awesome if you're looking for that. And, uh, tag android max base health, not that useful in my opinion for a, uh, support unit. I mean, I guess health can be, uh, once you get him to level 3, I guess it's a little bit more viable because it's 17%. If you get up to 4, it's 18%. Uh, but these are all the androids that are currently available. As I stated in yesterday's video, uh, you have the cells that are part of the android saga that has been now confirmed. Android 17, android 19, android 20, there's gonna be others like, uh, 16 that are probably gonna be coming out very soon, and then you're gonna have probably, if, like they've been doing with the movie stuff, you'll probably have 14, 15, uh, and 13 as well. So that's actually gonna be pretty damn awesome. Overall, I don't think he's a great character. I don't think he's going to be very viable for using even in game. And uh, I mean, his his uh, actual tag is not that awesome e either, my opinion anyway. Uh, but I mean, if he does get his own scout battle, maybe it will be a little bit better just because uh, you could at least get that Android based uh, health up. But personally, I, I, I really think that uh, attack damage uh, for melee and, uh, and and blast attacks are a little bit more viable than the um, than the health. But that's just my opinion. The next one is going to be the Vegeta. Now, this is kind of interesting. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know why we have Scouter Vegeta here. Uh, I'm pretty sure he is part of this. He's part of the Saiyan Saga. I don't know why he's actually here as an extreme unit because I don't have him yet. Um, but uh, he's coming out with this banner, which is interesting. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, strike attacks, 18,000. Strike Blast attacks, 25,000 for an extreme unit. That's insane. Key restore speed is definitely low. Uh, main ability, 35% to key recovery for 12 timer counts. That's not bad. Um, <clears throat> but 12 timer counts really sucks. 
uh, unique ability plus 20 percent to blast damage when two allies are down so when he's the last one he's going to increase his blast attack by even more um so that's awesome special is gallic gun deals major impact causes enemies to receive 10 percent more blast damage yeah oh and his uh form of attack 20 percent blast damage for 20 timer counts oh and he gets two blast damage for his arts card yo this guy is literally going to be a blast damage king just like his uh his uh purple counterpart except he's going to be the extreme version of that so that's pretty awesome and he does yellow base strike blast and defense um that's pretty awesome i mean it's not great great but i mean at least people will be defending a lot better so if you put some time into uh, cultivating your characters with the with the actual crystals uh that defense will definitely be up a lot higher uh, it looks like he's going to be doing really good to support a lot of the, well obviously because he's yellow all the yellow sparking units which is awesome as well so um i mean again it's defensive buffs so it's not amazing but again it's definitely useful uh, I, I personally think the defensive buffs might be even better than the health in my opinion but uh, that's just my opinion on the matter so overall, I think he's a really awesome unit. So far of the two, uh, Vegeta is definitely my top slot for extreme characters. Hopefully you guys can get him. Uh, we're going to go over here. We're going to talk about Android 19 now. Then we have Android uh, 18 next. So Android 19 is a power unit or a red unit. Uh, let's see, at level 1000 stats or stats when they're at 1000. His strike attack is 22,000. Blast attack is 16,000. So he breaks the 20,000 barrier. So that's not horrible. Key restore speed is ridiculous. Uh, 23,000. So that's awesome. We need to do a video explaining key restore speeds. Pretty much the higher it is, the, the quicker you restore your, your key. Um, so resistance. Oh, look, I didn't, you know, I never even noticed that they have resistance to stuff. Uh, that's awesome. All right, main ability recovers key for 15 timer counts upon landing. Strike arts hit, uh, arts hit. Requires 15 timer counts, must elapse. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> oh, but actually, you know what? I think that's better. Um, so that pretty much means um, you use your main ability, but until you land a strike, a, uh, strike attack, you, it's not going to actually come in use. So, but that's, that also makes sense because he needs to hit the opponent to drain their energy. But then again, I mean, I kind of feel like because they were able to absorb energy attacks, that the energy attack should have like, be you should get like health from that at some point or something like that. Who knows? Uh, unique ability: Team uh, Android Twenty Strike Attack Up plus twenty percent strike damage inflicted when character Android Number Twenty One is a battle member. Actually, that's really awesome. You definitely want uh, Doctor Jero with him anyway, uh, because they're both androids. They're going to be helping each other out. Cover. Absorb. Absorbs enemy key blast attacks when changing cover for the first time. Plus five to substitution count. I feel like that should have been all the time. That would have been awesome. It would have been kind of broken. My, I, my, I believe so anyway. But um, uh, even if it was that broken, it would still be pretty damn awesome. But either way, uh, that's awesome. So that means I, I wish, wish that it increased his health. I mean, you're only going to be able to do so much with that. And I mean, if the enemy is going to be launching all those key blasts at you, that would have been, that would have been so ridiculous. But okay, anyway. Special Eye Beam deals major pierce damage, causes enemies to receive 10% more strike damage in timer counts. Okay. Um, key Wave Absorption absorbs enemy key blast. Uh, you got to be very, very good with your timing with that. That's very difficult to pull off. Uh, but if you can pull it off, hell, that's pretty damn awesome. Uh, he does Android Base Blast Attack and Defense um, during battle, plus 20%. So that's not horrible. Uh, I mean, like, it's going to be good for supporting Android 17 and Android 18. Uh, with, when they're running, uh, and I guess Cell, especially when Cell gets his, his actual sparking unit forms that are coming out. But uh, outside of that, I mean, right now it's not going to be too viable. And I think, which one was, I think Android 17 was the blast damage unit, right? Uh, yeah, he was the blast damage unit, level 1,000, 27,000. So he's definitely going to come in handy for uh, Android 7. So keep that in mind as well. Um, overall, I'd say he's an average unit. I think he's better than the first form Cell. So we're going to put him in second place. And uh, last but not least, we're going to talk about Android 18 in terms of the extreme units. We're still going to go over the heroes. Don't worry about that. Um, also, do me a favor. Uh, before we continue, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you are new here, help show your support for the channel. I really appreciate it. But all right, cool. So Android 18 is a green unit. Uh, let's see over here. For her level 1000 stats. Ooh, wow. Her strike attack and blast attack are uh, 18,000. They're both under 20. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, her strike defense, 13,000 blasts. I mean... I don't know how to compare that to the other units in terms of defense. Blast, yeah, his defense is horrible. Um, let's see, Vegeta's defense, 15,000 and 11,000. So I guess her 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 defense is a little bit better, especially for her blast. So I guess I'm going to have to compare her to Spartan units with the comes with defense, especially that Piccolo, who's also a green unit. Um, let's see what she does over here. Uh, main ability, draw a special arts card. Next, okay, restores own key by 40. Okay, that's not bad actually at all. Her main ability is actually pretty damn awesome. Uh, so pretty much what you want to do is you want to use at least uh, two melee attacks or two uh, blast damage attacks 
Once you do that, you can go ahead and use your main ability. You'll draw a special arts card, which will come into play right away, and you'll have you should have enough key to uh, get it off. So that's pretty awesome, actually, for her card. Uh, unique ability: Crisis Gauge Recovery plus 45% to vanishing gauge recovery when two allies are down. Wow, that's actually really awesome. Um, so that means she her she'll be able to dodge so much quicker. See. I'm waiting. I was waiting for something like this. Uh, not not specifically this, like how this is created, but there I knew there's going to be someone with a, an ability to pretty much dodge a lot. So actually, I, I kind of want to get. I, I do want her now because I want to get her uh, level 1,000, and I want to bring her in PvP and let the other two guys die and just see how awesome. It is. I mean, I'll do it for testing purposes on like regular matches, but it's harder in regular matches because the enemy is only as active as you are unless you go on the hardest stages. Um, but anyway, so special power blitz deals major explode damage, causes enemies to receive 10% more explode damage for teen timer counts. Okay, not bad. Um, uh, that's awesome, I guess. Uh, so I guess you, what you would want to do is you would want to do a power blitz. So, oh, you know what? That's actually what you definitely would want to do. So you would launch a special move, right? After you make your opponent dodge or whatever, so that way you know you can get it. Use your, your special. Go over here, use your main ability. It will recover your key by 40, and then you can go back. They already have the 10% more explode damage, and you can do another power blitz and do even more damage. Hell yeah. Um, oh, and she is a hell, uh, G restores her own health. That's awesome. That's only 15%, but... So she is a very versatile unit. Um, I'm going to have to say her and Vegeta are definitely going to be the top par. Uh, they made Android 18 on both versions very good of the, in terms of her sparking and this unit. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Oh, there, that's, that's the shaft right there. 12% uh, tag female warrior base max health um, during battle. That's horrible. Even if you get up to level 3, it's only 17%. And female warrior tag, as of right now, it's it's pretty much utterly useless. Because the pan, I mean, I, I run, I, I don't I, I don't really run the pan. Um, I have run the pan. I'm not a big fan of her. I, I don't think, I don't have any of the good uh, agility units or the blue units as of right now. But I mean, like, oh man, pan doesn't do a lot of damage. She's only good for her key recovery. And then once that's all used up, she's not really useful at all anymore. Um, but, uh, well, whatever. I mean, she's a decent unit. She's an android. You'll have other units uh, supporting her. It just stinks because she's not going to do good about supporting the rest of her android team. Unless you're running, like, <clears throat> the Sparking 18, which will come in handy for that specific unit. Um, overall, not bad. I would definitely say that Vegeta is an overall better character because he has a lot better, um, I I overall, he's going to be doing a lot more damage. He doesn't have as great of defense. But in terms of his damage output and usefulness, very good, and his E-ability. Uh, honestly, I think Android 18 would beat him if she had an Android um, or a Technique or a green Z-ability. That, that Z-ability is really what kills her, in my opinion. But I think she's going to be a very, very good and useful unit. I mean, even if you, if you don't care about that Z-ability, then she's definitely going to be one of the top-tier characters for the extreme units that are currently available in-game. Just because she does do that health, she does have a unique, very awesome main ability. Um, her, she's just really awesome overall. Uh, okay, cool. Let's go over here. We're going to talk about the last two. The, um, these are going to be the hero units. We're not going to do too crazy. Uh, strike attack on Goku is going to be, uh, 20,000, 20,000 for strike and blast. Not great. Let's see, uh, plus 15% damage inflicted, 15 timer counts. Eh. Uh, unique ability, minus that into own arts card cause from battle start. Uh, effect is not applied to awakened or ultimate arts cards. Okay. Um... Viral Heart Disease. Oh, he has his own Viral Heart Disease. That's horrible. I'm not going to even use it. Don't even use this character. Let's look at him over here. What is his ability? 20% uh, at level 3 to Purple Base Blast Attack during battle. Uh, so that's going to be good specifically for when you're trying, when like you have a mission that you need to do a Rising Rush that goes over 2 million or 2.5 million or something like that. He's going to be very beneficial to like the Vegeta or anyone else who comes out who has a really high... Um, high actual blast damage actually i do want to do a quick comparison between android 18 and android 7 uh and uh, vegeta uh, overall just just a link for purple units that's pretty much all he's going to be used for and because he's a hero he will definitely be a lot more common of a pull so you could definitely get him up, up to at least three without uh quickly enough um and then we have cell over here level 1000 cell strike attack is 21,000, almost 22 blast attack is 18.5 um rest restore own health his main ability restore own health by 25 percent could only be used once as a main ability. Unique ability, 5% strike damage inflicted for each opponent down by the current character. That's not that viable in my opinion. Uh, special has no special, no, no extra things on it. Solar Flare, cool, inflicts flash. That's not bad. Arts card is two uh, melee. Uh, purple base critical, so it's not, I don't even think that's very viable in my opinion to um, 
to anyone because I don't think that critical does too much anyway. I mean, it's cool when it goes off and whatnot, but I, I, unless you're doing like a thousand percent and you get lucky enough to get a thousand percent, I don't think it's awesome. Uh, but overall, that's what it is. Um, there they are, heroes cards. Uh, but uh, I, I think the Goku is definitely a lot more viable. I just want to take a look at the Vegeta 1000 Vegeta. Yeah, no, uh, the the Vegeta still beats out the uh, Android 17 for blast damage in terms of blast damage output. Uh, but the Android 17 has a lot better defense, um, and he has better strike attack, and he has better health and strike defense. So the only thing Vegeta has over him is blast attack by 2000, um, and everything else on Android's base attacks is is a little bit better. Uh, plus he did, yeah, so yeah, okay, I just wanted to make sure, I want to see if Vegeta has been replaced yet, he might be, uh, but overall guys, that is it, thank you for joining me here today, that is the extreme and the two heroes that are currently available from this banner, I hope that was helpful and informative, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I'll catch you down in the comments below, peace out.